You've heard us all trying to say Isaias the last few days, and we've been watching this tropical storm in the Atlantic. And we've all been talking about where these names come from. Yeah, so ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Bowles is here now to explain the history and process behind naming storms during hurricane season. Yeah, well, actually, Candace, you helped us put together this little guide, and I would say you did it just in time because it answers the questions that we all have right now. First one, storms are given a name to help communication between forecasters and the overall public. So we could be tracking multiple multiple storms and this will help keep them all straight. Now here's a little history lesson for you guys. It is something that started at the beginning of the 19th century. Records actually show storms being named once they moved onshore and caused significant damage. Forecasters would name them according to a characteristic of the day. So this could be a saint's day, a holiday, or even the name of a town that was hit. Then by the late 19th century, naming storms as they developed over water started using the Greek alphabet. And during World War II, Air Force and Navy meteorologists started naming them after their girlfriends and wives, but this naming system was quickly turned down by the U.S. Weather Bureau. In 1952, they decided to use women's names, and then in 1978, they decided to start alternating male and female names. So now we are taking turns. But I bet you guys are wondering, who exactly is the they that we're talking about when they come up with the storm names? So the United Nations World Meteorological Organization comprised of 25 members who represent over 120 countries that surround each ocean, ocean basin in the world are responsible for naming those storms. And the list for Atlantic hurricanes is actually different than the Pacific hurricane names. Lists are created six years out for each ocean basin. So the big question that we've all been waiting for, how are the names chosen? Well, each year a list of 21 names is used. Only 21 because, I mean, let's be honest, there's not a ton of names that start with Q, U, X, Y, and Z. Chosen names must also meet certain requirements before they're officially listed. They need to be short, easily understood, you hear that, you say yes, and culturally sensitive in all the languages surrounding the specific ocean basin. For example, the Atlantic hurricane list is compiled of names derived from English, Spanish, and French cultures due to the countries that surround the Atlantic basin. So there you go, that is where Isaias comes from. Names are then retired if the storm causes catastrophic death and damages, and if for some reason, please, not this year, Please, not this year. They run out of names. They go on to the Greek alphabet. And the last time that happened was 2005. So I hope we don't get there. We'll have to wait and see about that. But if you head to clickorlando.com slash news six at nine right now, you can scroll to the bottom of this story and you'll find a full list of the names slated for this year's storms. And Candace, I hate to make more work for you, but I think you're going to need to update this graphic mm. for me right after the show. Yep. Cross another one off. I'll put a tropical storm icon on that one. Thank you.